This is programming challenge number eight out of chapter four. It is called Average Rainfall. In this application or program, um, we are to ask a user to um, basically calculate the average rainfall over a set period of years. Um, and it will ask them how many years they wish to analyze and it will do the calculation for them. Okay, so let me play it for you. All right, greater than zero, how many years of rainfall would you like to analyze? And I'll say two. How many inches of rain did month one receive? So it's going to ask every month for each year, so a total of 24 times. So I'm just going to enter in um, like one, two, three, four, five. So one for month one, two for month two, three for month three, four for month four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. All right, and after I enter this 12 for number 12, you should notice right here where it says in year one, if my loop is working correctly, it should say it should turn into year two. So I'll press OK. Great. All right, so um, now I'll just do it all over again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. All right, so here it's basically showing them um, that analyzation. So total number of months is 24. Um, the total inches of rain, 156. If you add them up, that's what it will come out to. Um, and the annual average per month is 6.5. So let me show you the code associated with this. Um, and as you notice from when I showed it to you, we are using the J option pane again as an import we have up here. Um, this is where I'm starting out my variables. Um, so starting out a string user input um, for any numbers. We're taking a lot of numbers in here through the J option pane. So we are going to be converting a lot of those strings over to integers. OK, um, you do notice some initializations going on right here. Um, this one here, I put a note in for myself. Uh, this is initialized for the validation check that I'll show you below. All right, uh, so out of my first method, public void user input info, um, we start out our while loop. Um, so there are different types of loops, um, but for this one, I'm using a while loop for that validation check. Um, this is to make sure that the user inputs a number that is um, greater than zero, okay? Um, so that it can properly calculate. Um, and that's where you saw that message came up greater than zero. How many years of rainfall would you like to analyze? Let me make this bigger. Okay, um, and as you know, we took a number. So um, because we're using the J option pane, we do need to convert those strings to integers. So that's why down below here, you can see that user input variable. Uh, we are parsing that to an uh, integer and turning it into years of rain variable, okay? Um, and then we have a for loop, which is another type of loop. Um, so, uh, and that's how this works here. Um, this is the outer loop, and then this is the inner loop. Um, so the outer loop is where I kind of talked about, you should see it change to a two. Once I hit that 12 for the first time, month of 12 for the first time, um, and the inner loop is where it's asking for each month, and it's holding those numbers that we looped through so that it can calculate. Um, and then it's asking how many inches of rain for that inner loop. Okay, and this is where it's uh, kind of just adding them up together, um, to keeping track of the total number of months to display. Um, all right, and uh, this is we're reinitializing it so that when it loops over again, um, it takes a new number, okay? Um, so the second method I have here, uh, public void calculate, 
uh, this is where I'm taking the averages of the total inches of rain divided by total months of rain, um, giving us the average rainfall so that we can display that to the user down here in our uh, three line output where it shows the total number of months. Okay, total inches of rain fall and uh, annual average rainfall per month. And this is where it just ends the program. All right, um, so I'll play it for you again so you can see. All right, greater than zero, how many years of rainfall would you like to analyze? So um, let's say if I did put in like a, a zero, okay, it should ask me again. So I'll press OK. Yeah, so it asked me again. It's only if it ha if the user inputs a number 1 or greater than 1 will it proceed through the remainder of the program. So I'll put a 1, press OK, and then it proceeds. So how many inches of rain did uh, month number 1 receive? Um, if I put a negative number, so let's say I say negative 1, and press OK. This should not proceed to a 2. This should, right here where it says month number 1, it should not say month number 2 after I press OK because I put in a, a negative. It, does, it shouldn't take a negative. So great, it stayed at number 1. So let's say if I didn't make it a negative and proceed, then it goes to number 2. So it's doing those input validations to verify that these are positive numbers that we are taking. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, um, and this time we only um, calculated one year of rainfall instead of two years of rainfall. Okay. Um, so that's it. That is this program. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, but I hope you have a great day. Thank you.